Uh, today we're over at the Escanaba power plant. Back a couple months ago we had a big power outage, an explosion at the substation here. And they came in with this portable substation. Being that this portable substation is very expensive to rent, they have to put a temporary substation in. That's what we're working on today. We're putting a fence up around the temporary substation. Uh, the new substation, in about two years approximately, is going to be put up in, in uh, where the old compost uh, the old compost used to be. That's what we're doing today. We're going to be pounding in the, the post. We, yesterday we already set all our posts, uh, the ones that are in concrete, the corners and gates. But uh, today we got to pound them in. The, the fence is seven foot tall. The posts are 12 foot tall, so we're pounding them in five feet. And in order to do that safely, we use a, a rhino pounder. And we also had this on an old kiwi pounder. The gate posts are a larger post. It's actually a four inch post. You see the dimensions of it. It's a lot bigger than the other corners, which are three inch posts. Um, the gate post, this one here, they're all set in concrete. The concrete's five feet deep. 16 inches in diameter and the corners are 12 inches in diameter and four feet deep. They're trying to turn this power on by Thursday so we have to have this fence up. The ground's still frozen we're driving these other posts in but we have to get this thing finished by Thursday so that they can turn this power on. There's a big uh, substation that's in here now and there's a lot of electricity going there and we got to keep it safe from the from anybody that's walking by. So our, our objective today is to get all the posts in and the fabric up so we can be done for Thursday morning.